Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to encourage you to take control of your finances. So I know as nurses, we're not living super large, but we do make nice salaries. But there's one thing that I notice a lot of nurses do, and I'm guilty of it myself. It's getting into too many commitments. Now with nursing, we always have that ability to work that extra day and get time and a half. If you don't have time and a half in your, in your facility, then I'm sorry. <laughs> But we do have the ability to work that extra day. And sometimes we can like really push ourselves to get overcommitted and put ourselves into financial situations that in the end can hurt us pretty badly. So here's some little things that I do to help me take control of my finances is whenever I feel like things are getting kind of like out of hand, then I take a step back and I try to think about what I actually really need to live with. Now, when I was actually when I was engaged to my husband I was living with my parents and so before that I was paying my parents like rent money but then once my boyfriend then proposed to me my parents were like oh just you know save your money and save your money and you guys can help pay for the wedding or you can start your life off with that money so ultimately like I wanted to make sure we had as much money as possible so I was working a lot of days along with that I started decreasing my finances to what I really truly absolutely needed which meant only going to the store if it was absolutely necessary. It meant wearing makeup from the drugstore. It meant a lot of different things that I wasn't really used to or had become accustomed to. So in doing that though, I really realized that the less I had, the more I was grateful for what I had. And I was able to slowly introduce new things into my life in a way that felt more natural. Now I think that our society, we see people like living large all the time, our neighbors Neighbors on Instagram look amazing. Everyone on Facebook looks like they have everything they could ever possibly want. And it gives us the mentality of like not being able to keep up. And that can really hurt us sometimes because it can make us look at our lives and be like, well, I don't have that. Or I don't have those kind of shoes. Or I don't have that kind of dress or that kind of house or something like that. We used to look at celebrities a lot and like be kind of like jealous of celebrities. But on one end, it was not as in your face. They make millions of dollars. They live lives that are like ultra extravagant. So it wasn't so personal. But now with Facebook and Instagram, our coworkers can look like they're living large and that can make us want to like up our game a little bit. So ultimately, one of the most important things that I do is I try to decrease the expenses. Do I really need those new clothes? Can this be worn again? Can I do this? And it would lower my monthly expenses that way. I'm always trying to look at things and seeing where it's absolutely necessary to spend money and where it's not necessary. I would like to decrease that. The other thing is I want to make sure I'm saving appropriately. So the first goal is to have six months of expenses in the account, you know, like you really need that safety net just in case something were to happen. My husband used to tell me when we first got together, you need to save $10,000 and then we can talk about other things. And honestly, like when he said that to me, I thought it was kind of like a silly goal. I'm like, so what? So I saved 10,000 and then what? But having money in the account, it makes you operate differently. You feel more at peace you're more sound. Whereas when you operate from credit, it can make you feel like unstable in some way, shape or form. So anyways, I hope this video encourages you to analyze the things that you're spending money on. Make sure that at least you're getting your money's worth. You're using what you're paying for and you're happy with what you're paying for. And if not, see if you can decrease that expense. You know, it might not be necessary. All right, guys, I really hope this video helps you out a lot. And I can't wait to see you next Monday for Motivation Monday. I'll see you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this 
profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.